Well, Colin Farrell yeah. has another has another bomb on his hands. Yeah, yeah. Poor, Poor Colin Farrell. That that movie actually got the good reviews. Um, and wait, which movie? Wait, are we talking about Dead Man Down? Yeah. Is yeah. that considered a dud? Yeah. yeah. I think. Oh, that's a shame. So he's made two good movies in a row that no one went to go see. Yeah, what was it? Was it London Boulevard? Did you check out that? No, one? London Boulevard was good. That was good too, but no, that didn't even get a wide release. But you had Seven Psychopaths and Dead Man Down. I think Seven okay. Psychopaths is the better movie, but Dead Man Down's a good is a good. It's much better than people are letting on. Um, it's it's a good little revenge thriller with some nice turns, um, unexpected like um, turns in it. But you know, it's it's interesting. He well, you know, then the other dud is Total Recall remake. I mean, that's the other. Yeah. Um, do you think that people just don't like him? That they just... I just have to, you know, say, you know, it's like, after a while, you know, because he has been in more than his fair share of non-hits. Right, but and I just, non-hits I just that are much better. see him in the movie, and they just turn off. They, there's something about him that just, just audiences don't care for him. Well, I think it's that, and I just think you're... It's a, in one sense, it's a very crowded marketplace, so you're trying to get your voice heard. If you're lucky enough, if you're lucky enough to actually make it to the multiplex, then you have to really... It's so hard to get distribution as it is. It's so hard to get a movie made and then get the distribution. It's like really making a movie is, is one of the most difficult things, I think, to do ever um, in, in, a, in a life. It's, you know, you get there, and look, he's, look, he's a good actor in, in Bruges, um, Cassandra's Dream, um, the New World. I mean, yes, I mentioned all films that have made very little money. Um, London Boulevard, I like. Uh, Seven Psychopaths is, is a screenwriter's movie. It is made one of the best movies, I think, in recent time made about writing in general. Um, this one, Dead Man Down, a lot of people would think, okay, the guy who made the girl with the original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo movies, this, this is an uh, English language debut. Like most English language debuts, it bombs, um, unfortunately, you know. But it's it's, he's a good. He's a very good actor, and yeah, he's made some unfortunate choices. Alexander, Hearts War, um, yeah, I mean, but he's then made something like Tigerland or Phone Booth. I mean, so he's a very yeah. obviously he's a very good actor. It's timing. It's you know I don't think people are sick of him. I I, I don't think you know people. If you ask the like you know people on the street, are you sick of Colin Farrell? The first thing they might say is, who the fuck is Colin Farrell? And, <laughs> I mean, if, if, I think that would be the first thing, yeah. And, you know, people, you know, who the fuck is Colin, you know, so I don't think, I don't think it's anything like that. I, I, I think it's just timing, so it's like, all right, um, what am I going to go see? I mean, most people don't you just know what they're going to go see. You just chalk it up, you just chalk it up to just bad luck. Bad luck. It's not even luck. And then I'd be like, it's just, you throw it out there. It's like, it's like you want to see what sticks. And With the exception of Total Recall, I don't think he makes movies that are meant to be huge grossers. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he's and, not into but, that. And I, th- I think, in terms of like the parts he chooses and the directions he tends to go, as an actor, I think he's actually made smart decisions. Um, Thank you. But he has. I, no, and, no, uh, I. I I think I'm he just keeps trying to figure out why people actor, don't actually. go to his movies. <laughs> you know, I like him. I think he's good. Why don't good. people go to Hal Hartley movies? I mean, you know why? <laughs> well, I know why people don't go to those because you know they're they're only for about point oh oh one percent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like why don't people go to Noah Baumbach movies? I mean, you know, I mean, it's like they're well, weird. again, you know, I mean, I know why people don't go yeah, to exactly. those movies. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think it's that. But, but these, also, this is like an action movie. It's like an action movie. It's got a great cast. Yeah, it's, it's a you know. Oh. It's a thriller, but you know, people just—you know—I don't. Well, and plus, it's up against the big Oz movie. You have you two know? huge it's... movies out right now that are crowding. I mean, the... Dead Man Down and London Boulevard, and maybe for the non-sophisticates, something like Seven Psychopaths are watch-at-home movies. Mm-hmm. You know, the, especially when there's a big tentpole movie that they're up against. The masses are going to race to that event movie before they will something that would be more comfortable yeah, to watch at home. Exactly. And, and let me ask you a question, Dean. When you went to the multiplex before you left, and when you looked up, how many screens was Oz playing on? No, it was on four. <laughs> okay. And what? On IMAX, a 3D, a 2D, a digital, probably. Like they're all. Yeah. So you have four, and then Jack was still probably playing on two or three screens. Well, yes. It's, so that's true. I mean. I just, you just answered the question. It's it's so crowded, and 
you you're not Dead Man Down if it's lucky is going to be playing on one screen at that multiplex. And it won't be at every multiplex, by the way. Yeah. Exactly. But I mean um uh, Yeah, I know. I like him. I mean he's one of these yeah. guys that, that still I, hasn't I, I, broken I, through with a major movie. Mm-hmm. I don't really think. Um, but you know, it just takes that one movie. But I, I, I but he's I a good actor. Liked, he's a really you know, good he, actor. And he tried with he tried with Fright Night, and Fright Night didn't work either. And he was good in that. I mean, I, he, that was an excellent movie too. I thought, I thought that was that was excellent. I mean, you know, I like him. I just I, I, I you know, when I whenever I see a movie of his come out, it does it, it tanks. You know, which is you know ninety percent of the time. I'm like poor Colin Farrell. I just feel because I like him. I think mm-hmm. he's good, you know. And uh, and I just I just try. I'm just trying to figure out why why he's why he can't catch a break. You know. I was watching a uh, rerun of uh, I was watching a rerun of Dinner for Five yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. The episode with um, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Gardner, which was interesting in itself, because you could tell something was starting to bloom between mm-hmm. the two of them. And then uh, Kevin Smith was at the table, and then Colin Farrell was also at the table. Oh, this was Daredevil, Colin, right? Yeah, and then Colin Farrell was talking about uh, that he had just auditioned the week before for the first time in a long time. And he said it was petrifying and so exciting. He was auditioning for Oliver Stone, for Alexander. And he says, I'm sure I'm not going to get it, but it was just so exciting to be in that room. And he said he walked up to Oliver Stone, and he said, Oliver, where's the, where are the hookers in the blow? And <laughs> <laughs> oh, but let's look at some of these other I mean, there's some other great parts here um, The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus um, Odin, Crazy Heart, The Way yeah. Back um, Even something funny like Horrible Bosses um, Pride and Glory is another one And then I guess this is the other big one The other, There are two others I want to mention here In the, in the last um, 12 years There is Miami Vice Which is the other big that movie he's that very, did not that make him a star yeah, but he's very interesting in that movie. Yes, he is. Uh, he, he did grow on me in that movie, as then, did the movie itself. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's other one. There's Intermission, um, which was good. But then the other one that he's very good in is Ask the Dust, where he plays oh, yeah. um, John Fanti's alter ego, Bandini. <coughs> um, but there are other movies, like, you know, we mentioned Daredevil and The the Recruit. These were not, these were bids for big big stardom. SWAT was another one that went nowhere. Um you know, yeah. and it seems like every time he tries out mm-hmm. for the big studio movies, as when he actually fails the most miserably. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and I think I think him reaching out and doing, you know, I'm just going to do what I want to do and do these smaller movies that offer me some, some opportunity to grow, right. like the Neil, like the Neil Jordan movie, which was very good. Yes, it was. 